Hi there, I'm Carrie Hi. Ellis. Hi. Hey, Tim, how are you doing today? This is my friend, Timothy Telemon. Great, Carrie, nice to be here with you. Cool, good to see you. And um, we're gonna talk about something really exciting today. This is our 21st Century Superhuman Show. And today we're gonna talk about cleaning up our DNA. And Timothy has had some amazing experiences. I work with him with a, with a very interesting herb called Thunder God Vine, which a lot of people probably haven't heard of yet, but we're in the middle of sharing information about this because it's a very exciting herb. And one of the things that happens when we take it is it helps clean out old viral codes in our system, and this begins cleaning off the spirals of our DNA. And we have some videos that explain this, um, some other videos that show graphics and everything of how this happens. But today, what Tim is going to share with us about is some things he was telling me today that are amazing about how he's gotten some really incredible insights as his own DNA has gotten cleaned up. Tim, you've been taking um, Thunder God for about a year, right? A little bit more than that now, about a, about a year and a half. Ago. And you've had all kinds of personal well-being come about, right? From Yes, yes. I feel very, very... Uh, balanced, uh, I feel uh, very high energy, um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, um, it's really helped me uh, as far as, you know, I, I think, you know, our creator wants us to understand his creation, and, you know, so these are things that, you know, myself personally, I've always, you know, wanted to know more about the world that I live in. Um, at the same time, you know, I didn't realize how sick I was until I started to get better. And um, so some of your so, sicknesses that you've gotten better from, do you want to well, just... Uh, there's, a long, there's a laundry list. Um, I was diabetic. Uh, my A1C has been great. My, uh, uh, I had uh, the most serious illness that I was facing with, faced with was uh, anterior uveitis, which is really an infection of the nervous system behind the eye, the old nerve, uh, which uh, in many cases... Uh, results in a retinal detachment and, you know uh, you can see people uh, throughout your daily lives that have that have faced that um, the herb uh, when I started to take it I could feel uh, you know something strange happening behind behind my eye um, and then uh, gradually uh, not linearly but for the most part the inflammation and the pain uh, started to decrease uh, with that, my skin started to improve. My, my hair started to improve. Uh, uh, when you say your hair started to improve, well, I mean, well, I, I I always had shaved my head because I really couldn't grow my hair more than like an eighth of an inch, you know, here. So it started to allow me to grow my hair. Um, it's That's exciting. Still in the back, but I mean, it's. Uh, a, a gross improvement. Wow, on. that's very cool. Well, listen, you know, I know that every time I talk to you, all you can say is, oh, I just feel so good, you know? And, um, yeah, I mean, uh, the energy level, uh, you know, you know, like you and I um, talk, I'm always ready to go, right? I, right. Uh, I, 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 I'll wear you down on screen, right? Because um, we get into pretty, have some pretty heavy topics. Right. But, uh, you know, my, uh, my energy level is just, always there um and it wasn't that way i mean i was right. you know i was fatigued i, I had uh, epstein's bar um i don't know of anyone on the planet that was able to drop that viral dna load to zero uh, i was shocked when i got my blood work back uh and saw those results and so was my doctor and there's a video posted on that I think. yes uh a lot, of, a lot of your folks have seen that video. Yeah, we'll put some of those video links under this one so people can kind okay, of catch yeah. some it, of it, the it, other stuff. Like, that's a live video where my, my physician read my blood work. And you can, right. You can see that we're both kind of shocked and in awe and reading. I expected the numbers to be less, but I didn't honestly did not expect them to be zero. Right. Uh, I knew that I had increased energy levels, and uh, a lot of things changed almost instantaneously. Uh, so I thought I'd have better numbers when I got my blood read. But um, I, I did not expect my viral loads to be zero. That is really cool. But there's been a ripple effect upon that. Yeah, and so tell us, tell us what you well, think about – sorry, go ahead. I'm interrupting you. Well, the Lyme disease, um, right. uh, I had like almost like a crawling sensation 
that would start around 10 a.m. on my on my the surface of my skin. Wow. The limes I had babesia and limes, uh, which is a co-infection. Uh, they tested at zero also, uh, and they tested even better than zero. They, te they tested that I was vaccinated for limes and that I had uh, no uh, antibodies remaining. So the fact that you tested as if you had a vaccination for Lyme's means that your body had the antibodies, correct? A perfectly uh, uh, formulated immune response would be the definition of a perfect vaccination. Interesting. And the perfect vaccination would be not to get a shot, right? but the call, meaning the, the requirement of the antibody, came from the cells themselves. That wow. would be... Perfect, right? That's and amazing. What, and that's, that's what we have. Um, I want to say right now that these statements have not been evaluated by, evaluated by the FDA. Okay, that Thunder God Vine is not, you know, uh, approved to treat, diagnose, prevent, or cure disease. Okay, that perfect. This is a one-person statement. Perfect. Uh, clinically approved and tried uh, across the gamut of the population. Very good. Okay? Okay. However, um, my limes did show zero uh, that I that I that I was vaccinated personally. My doctor was this different, really different doctor, specialist. Uh, sent it to California, the uh, the highest level of test that he he could uh, uh, get uh, uh, for for the for that blood work uh, to be sure, uh, and uh, and it did show that I was vaccinated. Obviously, there's no vaccination that exists. Uh, well, Tim, right? listen, so, because we've yeah. talked, we're, because we're talking well, yeah, about these health yeah. things well, and a lot that's, of that's other, yeah, we'll talk about those. We're, we have other videos where we're talking about health results and your health results. But today we really want to talk about, you have some really cool observations on the DNA clearing and then the insights that you've had because of that happening to you and which is making your mind operate at a whole new level so why don't you, you tell us a little bit about that okay um always uh from the time that i was um can remember i always wanted to understand the universe that we live in and uh, how it functions and i think our creator is, is just the architect and just as any architect mm -hmm would want somebody to appreciate his work, I think that we're supposed to study, you know, his work and try to understand it. And so I've always, I've always attempted to understand. Uh, but now that I've, be, I've been healing for a year and a half, I feel that I've become more in tune to the creator himself because why? Because there's less viral code in, in my body. Uh, so uh, I've basically, come to the point of realization uh, that a lot of the things that I'm studying on a cellular level uh, can be applied and scaled, okay? And I think that if researchers uh, took some of the uh, understanding that they can gain by, cell, by, by, by understanding uh, the cell and how the cells function, um, then they could understand the universe. Uh, so it's almost what I'm saying is to perfectly understand one thing would be to understand everything. And the reason it's so difficult to understand one thing is because we're living in a big bang and we're traveling faster than the speed of light, literally within this universe, because the universe is expanding faster than the speed of light, as you can imagine. So we are moving right now. So. If you were able to perfectly understand one thing within that uh, amalgamation of events, you could propagate forward and understand everything. But what I've been able to dissect at this point is that there's some there's some relationships here. Now look, so, Tim. Uh, Tim, so, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I know you're going to jump into that, but okay. Give us a little bit of a glimpse into how you feel. Um, your DNA has been cleaned up and this has activated your thinking in this way? Well, um, it's, it started initially where I just was getting better sleep. Um, sounder sleep. I mean, I, I can almost 
you know, more like when you're a child and you get that great healing sleep and you can't even get out of bed. You just want to sleep. You know? um, and I still sleep very soundly compared to before I was taking uh, Thundering Out of Mind. I almost had, um, you know, to force myself to really get that type of, type of deep REM. So, um, so that's been, uh, you know, a lot better. Um, and, you know, so I started to research and it turns out that your body's capable of healing uh, a million neurons per day. And that sounds like a lot, but it's really not a lot because you have trillions of neurons. So here, um, over time, I feel like I have, uh, over, uh, over the course of a year and a half, have accumulated a lot more uh, mental capacity. So now, um, just on a, on a practical set, at a practical level, um, you know, um, you, you and I talked about these other businesses that I'm, uh, that, that have been really in abeyance for years, you know, projects that I, I couldn't bring together, uh, because they're just, they were just, you know, like spaghetti, just too many variables, like, you know, and not enough resources and energy and time and money and mental capacity to bring these things to fruition. That's changed. I'm bringing these things online, even as we're, you know, doing, you know, these videos and all these other things. So my ability to, to work uh, has completely uh, increased. And, you know, I mean, it all starts with a good night's sleep, right? I mean, it's, you know, just to keep it simple, um, uh, uh, ideas in, uh, you know, waking up with great ideas, you know, from a good night's sleep, uh, you know, dreams that are uh, enlightening. Um, and then the ability to remember and process thought, and then the ability to you know really see things and and picture them in three D, and then try to understand these things. So you know what I wanted to say though uh, is that si as far as this overall system that we live in, um, you know I, I was going to tr um, provide uh, this animation that will explain and show people that these uh, little you know, worker bees that are in each one of our cells are climbing against gravity, okay? They're moving to and fro against gravity. What are they, what are they riding, what are they climbing on? How are they moving it's to and fro? You know, obviously they're uh, connect, they're, they're on a, 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 you know, an overall grid that they're in tune with that they could, they can move against gravity, okay? So, you know, what are, we, what are we saying here? You know, I'm just only, I'm only suggesting that our DNA, as much, as much information is held within that strand, is only a portion of the overall operating system that, we, that, we're, in, that, that, that we're running on, okay? We are, in essence, inside of a larger mind, and the universe itself, the, the beauty of it is at the, 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 the fabric level, okay? You know, some people call that the gravity level. You know, I'm suggesting that gravity, in essence, is the, neural, the, the neurological connections of the universe itself. And Einstein himself passed away trying to understand uh, electromagnetism as opposed, to, as opposed to just gravity, okay? And how electrons flow on these two these two different types of, of, of gravity flux lines, okay? So what I'm saying here is that we can relate it. We can relate it, you know? Um, so uh, what is the sun? The sun is similar to a ribosome, which is a factory within you that makes bricks. What is the sun doing? It's making bricks to make bricks that make you, okay? It's systems within systems. Just like a company is only equal to the capacity and ability of each employee, then the system that you live in is gonna have attributes and, and, and it's gonna act and feel like the different pieces and parts, okay? So to understand these small things, you can propagate, try, try to understand the, the large things. Just take your face, break it down. The, your mind has two halves, everything has two halves. We account, our accounting systems has double entry, okay? You know, uh, people look at the universe and say, I don't understand, okay? But there has to be a parallel universe. There's just no way God left it to chance that there's just this one universe randomly floating through space and there's no parity check. 
how could you correct the defect on the other side? Just as your DNA is identical halves, and if one half gets corrupted, the other half's used to check it. So we know, we know that the, all these systems um, are the same in essence, okay? So, you know, what I'm just trying to inspire into people is that the farthest atom can see my hand move from left to right, okay? Because that is the mind of the universe, okay? We, our memories, our thoughts, everything, this video is automatically offloaded into that mind. We know that because if we travel back in time, we can revisit this conversation. So we know it's stored. Think of it as a record that keeps expanding and there's more lines added to the rec. Well, no, the lines, the distance between the lines expands, okay, at the speed of light. And then when it contracts, all those lines are still there. And think of the reverse Big Bang, singularity, uh, as Hawkins would call it, as the ultimate computer compression. And everything is still there. Why do we know this? Because once that singularity occurs, there's no disruption from gravity because there is no gravity because the smallest particle is there so it can't pull to offset that perfect sphere. Hence, you have the singularity, which is perfect compression, which is all information, and that is the perfect mind. That is the mind of God. And then he recreates the universe and then we get it. Okay? So these things, this type of thinking, and this is just the beginning of the conversation. Okay? This is just, these are, these are things for people to ponder and we can later on create a blog and we can talk, but, um, and get other people's feedback and things like that. But right, I, I think that's a good no, idea. I, I yeah. just want to say that it's stretching the universal limits of my my mind that have existed for many years to where I could bring these thoughts to the next level, um, and also relate them more and more and more to my studies of the mind and and the body uh, and the repairing of the DNA that I am experiencing. You know, with with this wonderful. God named vine, thunder god vine. We did not name that. People should know that. So uh, I was named that by the native people of of Korea. Okay. So um, uh, you were going to say something. I'm sorry, Harry. Yeah, I was just going to say this is, you know, there's a lot to what you're saying, and it's deep. And yes, it is a conversation that we can continue because as I mean, obviously you don't have a simple mind and then obviously just taking the thunder God vine has sort of cleaned up things in your system enough that you're reflecting in new ways and you're kind of perceiving our existence. You're looking at a perception of that, which I think is in the collective right now. I mean, the kind of things that we were talking about today, I, I hear in the plasma technology world. We're looking at the magnetic field and the gravitational field and that the, this is and the plasma field that is flowing all the time that is from the source field of creation. And so understanding our relationship to these things is very exciting and it can be a little mind boggling too. I mean, it's almost like we've got to activate brain cells that we haven't been using to even understand this. So um, thank you for I, I agree. I agree. I mean, and I wanted to say, you know, you know those uh, little balls that you shake up in, uh, for Christmas time, and it's right. always in a perfect world. Right. And everybody loves looking at this. Okay. I just want to say that it's been that the real beauty of the universe and real the real where the real work gets done is at the nano level. Okay. And I know that the nano engineers are starting to understand some of the things that we're talking about because they have to. Because they basically have to lock into these. So you are right, okay. and we're using nano stuff all the time, but tell me what you mean by nano. Nano meaning that that's where the magic is. Um, when you get down to um, nano particle sizes, okay, um, just for an example, they recently produced uh, a nano uh, particle layer um, of one nanometer. Uh, of, um, of of a, uh, a solar cell, and it was a thousand times more powerful than any solar cell ever created. Okay, I mean it's just amazing. Okay, uh, it's tied up in patent, so you know normal people can't access it, unfortunately. 
but it would solve all of the world's needs, okay, if it were allowed to be commercialized. Um, but wow. It, but let's just talk about that, okay? They learned also in that layer that a, a clean four electron outer shell uh, allowed all this energy to pour in, okay? And it's almost like a perfect glass, okay? And I immediately thought, you know, what does the outside of the universe look like to God? Does it look like the little universe that we shake when we go to when we when we go to uh, Christmas shopping and see all the, you know, because if it's so, and if the electrons in this universe are really just trying to escape traveling, you know, to the path of least resistance, then wouldn't they line up on the outside of the universe itself? And from we were if we we're able to look from outside to inside, wouldn't that look like the the little ball that we buy? Uh, uh, at, at, at Macy's, you know? So I just think some of the things that are endearing to our hearts are because of what they really represent, you know, um, to God. And, you know, because we're part of God, because we're made of all these, the, the mind itself that is God. And, you know, so, and each particle within us has a counter particle, a particle that keeps it all in balance, that is, it, it's, it's all together. It has to be. So uh, I just wanted to uh, share this with you because, um, you know, I just think, you know, it's, it's a good thing, you know, and it's a loving thing. And now that I really, you know, can appreciate more of this wonderful world and understand also how the world is so wonderful because it reads us, okay? So of course it's perfect. And of course, everyone that, you know, can escape, you know, the bricks and mortar and goes into the country feels that perfection because that's made for you by reading you. OK, so, you know, uh, the man made part of it. We always want to change because it's not perfect. It's not made for us by us. You know, it's the feedback that I'm discussing now. So. Um, so I just want to just, uh, you know, spark everyone's thought, uh, you know, understand in a way that, you know, gravity in a way is like love, you know, it's the mind of God. It connects the, the, the neurological net that's the universe, but the closer you get, the closer you want to get, right? So there's a, there's a relationship there too. Um, I just think that, um, you know, it's given me a, a greater appreciation for life. Um, I know it's greatly extended my life as well, and it will continue to do that because disease and aging are all the same. And, you know, uh, my disease uh, it has left my body. Tim, what did I think, so, how long have we known each other? Maybe three or four months? Uh, yeah. About, yeah. I mean, you seem younger to me than you did when I met you. Well, that's because I am. I know. Because I mean, it's amazing. Because, yeah, because, because you're aging it's not, like I said from the first video, it's not because of the years on the planet. It's due to the DNA damage, you know? You know, I, I'm, yes. I'm actually now I'm trying to understand, you know, atomic damage. You know, like when there's a nuclear bomb, how does the universe correct that? Does it correct it through time? Does it correct it through the parallel universe to use that? Wow. To make so when you talk about that, what about like... scarring the universe when we, when we do that, right? Or like a nuclear spill from the nuclear right. power plant like right. Fukushima, right. you know? Right. So, you know, so, so the, uh, the universe obviously does, does correct these things, right? But, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's just stuff that we should not be doing, okay? And, You're right. And, you know, and, and, you know, I do want to understand it because I, I, I want to be part of the solution but um you know it's the real solution is stop playing with fire that we don't understand right would you like to talk a little more about you were talking about the gravitational field and it being kind of the neural net of the universe and maybe um well um yeah i mean um, well we have the mag in plasma work we talk about the magnetic and the gravitational field and right. um you were talking about the gravitational being kind of the neural net and the plasma flowing along it, or um, the light protons flowing well, along I, I electrons? Well, I, I was suggesting that, you know, the, um, the, the electrons themselves, um, um, 
are, you know, free electrons are everywhere. So um, I was just posing the thought, you know, has anyone considered that they're just really riding on the gravity lines, okay? And flat, flat, uh, static electricity and the electricity that's everywhere and um, in, in, including, you know, uh, the, the, the flux line to protect us from the solar radiation, and, uh, which is millions of volts, right? Uh, and many, uh, and hundred, you know, many miles above the earth, you know, has anyone considered that, um, that, that just as our neurons fire, you know, uh, that, that logic could also, could, could be a larger level of logic that, we don't understand and maybe the randomness randomness of the electron flow at the gravity at the gravitational level is more than random so um and that's all i know okay i don't understand you know all of that or a fraction of that but I, i'm i'm just trying to get my mind around that okay trying to get my mind because it can't be completely they, they have to be related. I mean, and, and, you know, Einstein passed away trying to understand, you know, the difference and the relationship between uh, uh, electronic flux lines and gravitational flux, li flux line uh, as, a, as they related it to uh, uh, electrons. So, you know, and be, for good reason. Uh, uh, it, it could explain the logic of the universe. Uh, so, and you know, people can observe what they can observe uh, lightning coming down from the sky. It's a discharge, but it doesn't go straight up and down. It's obviously, you know, has has many factors. It's steering it, okay? Um, that people that that we don't understand. So, is there uh, more of an equation than we understand about even a simple electron? So, um, and you know, how does that electron and that basic function convert to ATP synthase, which is the energy that controls our body and every plant and every living thing on earth, you know? So um, there has to be a relationship here. And, 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 and you know, so, and, and at this point now, I don't understand all those relationships. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, beyond me. So, so um can you kind of tie some of what you're talking about back into our DNA, um, how this relates? Well, you um, cleaning up our DNA with actually an amazing herb that can do that. Well, as far as, as far as, you know, um, what I, what I do understand, um, is that, you know, and what a lot of people don't understand, they get confused about, uh, is diet, thunder god vine DNA. Okay, they don't understand how those three things function uh, very well. Um, to me, it's very simple, okay? Um, electrons is what our bodies run on, okay? ATP, all of our food, in essence, is converted uh, through electrons through to ATP synthase, okay? Um, which is basically a fuel cell that runs all the little engines within our body, okay? Virus requires a uh, truckload of fuel cells, okay? So if you just stay on a basic green diet, when I say green, I'm not talking about fruit. I'm talking about, and I'm not talking about stuff that grows in the ground. I'm talking about your garden above ground that is green, that very simple layer, okay? So if you stay on that, okay, it's gonna be very difficult for virus, cancer, disease, okay, that requires these huge amounts of energy to reproduce. So you're gonna actually starve that layer out, okay? At the same time, you know, uh, Thunder God Vine is technically a terpenoid and it allows your body to see these uh, viral infections. So it's basically taking your glasses and putting your glasses on the immune system, okay? It's not as complicated as people think. It just allows the body to see it. And that's what you want because you don't want to have a product that any, in any way affects your DNA. That would be a bad thing. But you want your body to be able to see the top, its entire profile, good, bad, or indifferent. Okay? So once your body can see its 
entire genetic profile, it can mount an immune response. So now if you take those two and combine them, you have you know, uh, an immune system that can see the whole profile, can mount a really a, a wise immune response, much greater than, you know, uh, I, I'm going to, I don't want to insult physicians because there's, they're brilliant as well, but they're not as brilliant as our maker who understands the actual DNA and the DNA itself is going to be understood once it's fully read and then the immune response is going to start making corrections on a cellular basis down the pike. You might not be happy that it, that it, that it heals something that you're not concerned with first, but it understands that that's, that's, that it has to be in that order. Okay. So I'm, Tim, I'm, what is I, it, I, what I, is I, it I'm just saying that I might, I maybe want the back of my hair, you know, fixed first, but it doesn't mean that it's going to listen to what I want. Right. So I'm so, just making that analogy. And as far as the diet, you know, um, I'm only helping the process by by holding down the multiplication of, you know, I'm going to just use a slang term, bad guys, intentionally, because I don't want this to be a technical video and I don't want to, you know, have, you know, scrutiny that I'm suggesting that diet treats disease either. Do you know what I mean? I'm just saying, yeah, keep it simple. That's cool. Tim, okay. can you tell us what is a terpenoid and why does that um, make it easier for the body to read what's going on inside of it? Well, I'll, I'll say that it's, it's um, uh, if, if, if someone wants to look up quote unquote terpenoids, natural terpenoids, just to find out dandelions, uh, uh, certain oil, uh, can't remember, not eucalyptus, uh, not myrrh. I bet you tea tree, tea tree is probably a terpenoid, there's you a, think? There's, a, there's an essential oil that's a terpenoid. It's, um, it's one of the oils that is in the Old Testament, too. Um, it makes me think of turpentine, which comes from pine. Right, yeah. Uh, well, anyway, they're, they're out there, okay? They're... Uh, but the taxis, taxis plant uh, is uh, in certain continents, and that's one of the, sh the best. Okay. Now, uh, Thunder God Vine has two really powerful terpenoids and large, longer uh, molecule structures, longer molecular structure of terpenoids within it, too, and they're complementary. And there's a third that's also but not that does a supporting role. So these. This combination of terpenoids within within thunder god vine makes it really great for the human body because you don't really need to take that much of it. What I mean by much of it is the active ingredients um, to generate to, to, for your body to be able to see, in essence, disease and clean the DNA. Okay, so but terpenoids um, uh, are um, okay. So you have celestrol, which is a terpenoid within thunder god vine, and then you have triptola which is a terpenoid within the gut. But the trypt in triptolide it stands for a 30 length terpenoid, which means it's really long. What is it? What that means is from, an, from, from a, a person that's into herbals and natural healing is that it's, it's tremendous because it's a very complex molecule and so complex that they, that they can't commercial it, can make it commercially. Although I just learned that one company just recently can make it commercially, but the process is so expensive that it's not feasible from a profit standpoint. That the pro it just takes so much to 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 make them, to make this manually, you know, using today's technology. So now you have something that naturally is just wonderful, cannot be uh, synthesized. Um, that um, you know is you know. Let's just take it like this. You got the whole world of disease. Okay, that part of that that world has a lot of different disease names. Okay, now if you if you took the time, which I have done, most of those most of that world is connected at some point to a viral root. Okay, and that viral root has caused over time decay within your body that has allowed this you know disease tree to proliferate into different disease names that your genetics would be you know, more apt to get. Uh, and then 
you have this viral layer, which is maybe uh, 12 to 15 viruses, depending on the country you live in. And then you have um, the viral Achilles heel, which is how they hide, which is the key, okay? And then you have Thunder God Vine, which takes that hiding key and it says, hey, we're opening the door. Now we see you, okay? And what do you think happens? That whole disease tree falls apart, okay? Because this is the foundation of it, okay? And now- Wow, that is very cool. And now what do you think happens? Cool. Now you see the guy on the other side of the screen looking younger in only three months because what is aging? Aging is disease, right? Right? So, uh, you know, I think it looks better on women though, because women, women, you know, get that smooth collagen. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, uh, you know, um, magnificent, magnificent effects on, on women. So, are you, are you with me? So, well, I'm with you. Okay. So, um, but yeah, um, that's that's how. Um, that that's oh, and I don't think I ever, I really answered the question though. Terpenoids, um, or the way this vine works, uh, is it um, allows the body to see the disease in a very simple way, okay? When I say the key to be able to, to read that whole DNA strand, it's really not a key. I said that just to simplify it. Really, is, it's, it's, it's a bonding mechanism that takes the little, the little donuts within the DNA that the DNA is wrapped around, and it glued, they're glued together by disease. What Thunder God Vine does is it gets rid of that glue, okay? That's really what the terpenoids do, okay? They, they, they interfere with the glue that the disease is using to hide, okay? So now there's a little mechanism that reads your DNA called helicase. He's, a, he's like a spiral jet engine that comes around the outside and actually splits the DNA and reads it like okay and then it spools off another strand okay and then that strand is an rna and then, then that goes to a ribosome which is like the sun it makes it does, instead of making uh building blocks to make the universe it makes building blocks to make you okay and that's how that works ribosome is the sun within your within your cell that makes the proteins that turn the code, which is you, into a solid model, which is you in the flesh. That's how it works. That is pretty amazing, my friend. Why don't we just leave it right there? I think, I think it's really good. I think it's awesome. And I think this is a conversation I think people will have questions on. I think maybe in the future we can start doing some Google Hangouts or something where we can have dialogue on this. But um, thank you so much for sharing this amazing vision into this process. It has come from not only all your study, but your personal awakening and livening of your mind and spirit that's going on as you're getting your own system cleaned out and I think we're all designed to operate in this way and you're just demonstrating to us the magic of our design when we become more healthy and vital and able to use our minds the way we were intended yeah yeah a lot of people you know uh, don't understand what I'm trying to say but I think this video will allow people really to see the overall. I think, I think this worked out. Thanks to your interview, interviewing style. I appreciate it. Great. Thanks so much, Tim. And we Great. shall remind everybody to take care of yourself, breathe and smile, be a 21st century superhuman, follow our videos. You can follow us at 21stCenturySuperhuman.com, Naturally Better TV, and we will see you soon. And FlawlessServes.com. FlawlessServes.com. Okay, Tim, take care. Thank see you, you soon. Okay. Bye.